Hi, so what you're gonna see here is the pictures I took uh, mostly with this 50 millimeter and 28 millimeter lens and this is my Nikon ZOZ6 very nice camera not heavy uh, easy to carry around but unfortunately when I went to um, uh, Banff and uh, Lake Louise I forgot to take my uh, my XQD card reader so I couldn't do this video sooner and I couldn't add pictures to my videos but I did like a bunch of videos right I did uh, Lake Moraine nice t-shirt got it over there I did Banff and I did a video about uh, my uh, hiking to the top of the uh, tea house or Lake Agnes uh, trail so now you're gonna see pictures from from these three events basically Banff uh, Lake Louise and uh, and uh, Lake Moraine enjoy so this is Banff basically me on the way to uh, Lake Louise because the check-in uh, was like 4 p.m. at the hotel so I decided to spend like four hours probably uh, walking around the downtown of Banff uh, it's gorgeous I found parking on the west side of town and basically was trying to do some uh, street photography uh, of the sneaky kind and I used uh, most of the time I think I used the 28 millimeter lens and here I just like the the shoes on the girl in the white t-shirt she's just wearing some crazy crazy shoes but yeah, a lot of tourists and uh, also it's cool that nobody actually pays you any attention because everybody takes pictures um, and uh, the the this area over here no I think that's not I think it's probably Banff Street like here I like the colors the bike the door super pink um, there's a bunch of restaurants there most people are super happy like this couple because the weather was good you know it's a great place to visit like the uh, this girl has a camera but she looks uh, pretty decided to take a pic and of course there's lots of souvenirs you can buy all these kinds of mugs and gifts you know and t-shirts I didn't buy anything here but I bought a uh, Lake Moraine t-shirt um, bikes are everywhere over there you can rent them they're pretty expensive but you can just rent a bike and uh, you see them in the background of this picture and you can just explore Banff and there's a bunch of trails all around yeah in this area that's the I think it's Bear Bear Avenue that's like a pedestrian uh, zone with lots of restaurants on both sides so I really enjoyed uh, my time there, especially since I found uh, free parking just 200 meters, 600 feet away. And I like this girl because she was uh, reading a book. Uh, she was not staring into her phone. She was actually reading a real book. And this uh, that little kiosk in the background, that's where you can get all kinds of information about uh, how to spend your time there. And of course, whichever way you look, there's mountains, right? There's mountains, beautiful scenery, especially, see like here, mountains, clouds, uh, lots of opportunities for uh, photography. And then I switched to black and white, like this guy carrying his daughter. And I think that's his wife in the background with another daughter. And yeah, these signs are everywhere, like Bull River Trail, 200 meters to the right. This gentleman was like very serious looking. And I stopped at uh, this one. I think this was a uh, yeah, coffee shop, like a Starbucks. These two ladies were buying something ahead of me and then that guy actually saw me take a picture and he says uh, you have any good ones I said a little bit a few 
And this is the Bow River, along which actually that's where that free parking is up to nine hours. Yeah, I think it's called Bow Avenue or Bow Street, but right next to this uh, river. And the water was pretty clear. Um, and I, I, I went on the pathway uh, near the river. Oh, I think this is already the hotel, sorry. So then, yeah, I left Banff and this is already Lake Louise uh, Village. And I grabbed the camera and there's a bunch of trails all around the, the complex of the, you know, the buildings with these mountains. So I tried to uh, find some interesting um, shots. And that's, that's the actual hotel, but they have like five buildings. Uh, my room was in building number two but this is how it looks like you can uh, look out the window and you'll see mountains and they actually had a couple of those um, you know those kind of like looking glass type of thingies where you can uh, stare at the mountains it's a very uh, rustic looking hotel so it's called Lake Louise Inn I think uh, I paid 330 bucks a night so that's my indigo blue Hellcat and yeah, I was on the second floor. That's my building. So that's where I spent uh, two days. Though this is the central entrance, and this is the, there's a sign, there, a blue sign. That's where you can. Uh, it says uh, a, a shuttle to to Lake Moraine or Lake uh, or Lake Louise, and they have a couple of restaurants in there. One is a pizza place, and one is a regular restaurant. But they're, they're pretty expensive. Like pizza was like I think like thirty bucks or something, but where else would you go? And this is uh, my first uh, hike. This is the tram line, tram line trail, five kilometers. This is from Lake Louise Village, or from my inn, to the actual Lake Louise. Because even though they have the similar name, but they're like five kilometers apart. So to get to get to Lake Louise, either you have to go on this trail. Or you can ride a bike or you can uh, get a bus uh, well of course you can go in a car but it's like finding parking there near this Lake Louise this is what you see in the picture finding parking is pretty problematic because there's so many people it's super popular and the water is uh, has very distinctive color from all the stuff that comes down from glaciers yeah, it was very busy very busy so I spent uh, probably 30 40 minutes and then I went on the second trail which was much more difficult because it has a like the first one only had like 190 meters of elevation the second one to Lake Agnes it's called Lake Agnes trail and this is a mirror lake a small lake on the way to the top Lake Agnes trail had about 430 meters of elevation so it was very difficult you know like I'm 61 not, not exactly my 20s but young people were there man they were just running running up like this it's nothing and I think uh, is this already uh, Lake Moraine no I don't know yeah this is still on the way up this is the the views from the Lake Agnes Trail I think this is already at the top like the views are gorgeous and you can see uh, Lake Louise in the distance yeah these are the views from the top uh, where they have this uh, tea house it was the first day it was open so there was like 200 people lined up and this one is uh, trying to remember Yeah, that's the uh, Lake Agnes. That's the the goal of that second uh, uh, hike. Lake Agnes. It's a small lake, but pretty clean. Lots of people were there, even though this is you know summer, right? But there was still snow in the shade. So this is the tea house, and you can see how many people are there 
all lined up trying to get a cup, a cup of overpriced tea or coffee. Um, I didn't even try. And they have all these benches there. Um, pretty cool. So this couple here is, enjoys the view of the mountains. And this is when I already got back. So this is a little river uh, near my uh, Lake Louise Inn. And that's another hotel there in the distance, those uh, red houses. But yeah, the water is pretty clean. Uh, there's, you know, like I said, there's opportunities for photography there are everywhere. I think uh, I went to get some wine at the liquor store and I just took my camera with me. And, uh, and it, I had to cross two, two creeks on the way there. And this is the last day. This is the Lake Moraine. I really enjoyed this um, this lake. It's really much more beautiful than uh, Lake Agnes or even Lake Louise. The water was of this crazy color, and you can rent a canoe at 140 bucks an hour Canadian. Pretty expensive. I rented one in Banff. It was like 54 dollars. And we climbed at the top, like there's a, what is called a rock pile, a little a rock pile trail, like basically 200 meters long, 25 meters of elevation. And then you can see uh, this is away from the lake. Um, but basically, it's a huge pile of rocks. I like this picture. So I was just trying, I spent... Uh, Probably half an hour there at the top trying to find a good um, a good shot, but it's hard not to take a good picture because, <laughs> because the lake is so beautiful. I'm gonna upload these to my um, like the I'll, I'll choose the best ones scenic shots. I'm gonna upload them to my uh, pixels.com website sergey-drachevpixels.com. So if somebody wants to um, look at them in high resolution or maybe frame them. You can buy them from that website. I'll put a link in the in, in the end. And this Lake Moraine, by the way, uh, you cannot get there by car. There is a road, but the road is only open to either uh, shuttles and buses, or bikes or pedestrians. But cars are not allowed because, again, this was. Uh, this place was super popular, so they were having issues with uh, with the parking. So they just they solved the problem by by banning all cars. <laughs> and so the shuttle was uh, twenty five bucks Canadian from my hotel. Uh, that's a return trip. And look how clear the water is. This is just gorgeous. It's kind of like a one of a lifetime trip. And yeah, you can rent a cabin over there. Uh, I think they said uh, either 900 or 1300 a night, something crazy amount like that. There was a little coffee, uh, like it's it's not an actual coffee shop. You have to go inside, buy coffee or tea, and then you can sit outside there on the patio. But yeah, that lodge had this real, uh, you know, rusty look. It was very busy. People were just basically killing time between buses because uh, I was also probably waited like 40 minutes because I finished everything early. And uh, you cannot just get on any bus. You have to reserve them. You have to at the hotel. You have to tell them when do you want to go back. And so mine was at 11 o'clock. And here's a map. So this Indian couple are studying the map of the trails. Uh, there's a bunch of trails around Lake Moraine. And here people are getting ready to uh, to board a bus. <laughs> 